uh, executive finance meeting of January 29, 2013 will come to order um, 5.30. About 5.30, a little late. Uh, Councillor Snell, would you request the meeting, sir? Your Honor, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you all for this day. Thank you for this beautiful, nice, cold rain. Be with us, Lord, as we continue our council meeting today. And just give us wisdom and strength today, Lord, and be with us as we travel home. Thank you for the visitors today. And be with us again, Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Roll call. Jody Fishinghoff. Chuck Haskin Jr. Here. Bill Anglin. Here. Jack Baker. Here. Joe Bird. Here. Julia Coates. Meredith Fraley. Here. Janelle Fulbright. Present. John Garvin. Hi. Frankie Hargis. Present. Tana Glory Jordan. Present. Lee Keener. Dick Lay. Here. Curtis Snell. Here. David Thornton. Here. David Walkenstick, Kara Callen Watts. We do have a quorum. Thank you. I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes in total. Motion to be approved. All right. All in favor. 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 All in Thank you for your patience. And do we have any questions for the treasurer, uh, Councilor Cowan Watts? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Warren, for being here with us sure. so late. On, um, I'm still struggling with whether or not these potential budget cuts to the fiscal cliff, the other things, how it's going to impact us. So, um, can you give me a recent analysis on our cash reserve fund? Versus what we think we're going to be in question sequestration, or is this still applicable? That's still applicable. When that was calculated, it was before the OMB had released their report, so that's based on 10%. And what finance has done is they've put together a report based on the guidance from OMB as to how the sequester would apply, which in most instances is 8.2%. I understand that that 8.2% has now been reduced by a couple of percentage points, and I haven't seen the official guidance on this, but um, some are saying that it might be 6.2, 6.4, or something to that measure. And so what we've done is we've gone in and we've done a clinical analysis of each of our grants, because it'll be applied on a grant basis, and the exact dollar amount reductions for uh, each of our grants and, and how that affects programs at the accounting unit level. So pretty in-depth analysis that took several weeks. So, you know, you know, I think Vicki Hamby said it earlier, you know, it, it'd be like looking into a crystal ball to see what Congress will do, but, you know, given the uh, <coughs> requirements put on uh, Congress to, you know, get a budget passed and, and get things in motion or else their salaries are going to be uh, escrow. Uh, I think that we'll have a resolution soon and we'll know more about how that will be applied. But um, until now, you know, we're, we're working off of what we know and, and what has been said. And, uh, and, and we will look at, uh, we will look at what the needs are if, if possible funding shortfalls do occur at the federal level. As far as the cash reserve is concerned, that is fully funded at the, you know, the legislative requirement. Um, you know, we've not had to make any, uh, you know, dips into that fund, you know, to date. And if, if we did, that would have to come before the council. And so, you know, we we feel like we're doing all we can at this point. You know, no stone, no st no stone has been left unturned. Um, we're also attacking it from the. Uh, you know, being being on just an offensive, you know, just just going to uh, uh, Congress <coughs> and you know, doing that through a letter writing campaign and saying, look, we would love the opportunity to, to sit down and talk to you about how these funding cuts will affect us. And the, and I mean, you'd be surprised how little many congressmen know about what the Cherry Commission does and how many programs we actually operate. So we're trying to approach it from every front we can. Okay. Re reviewing your report, I know it was at an earlier meeting, but going back over again, it appears that if there are cuts, that mm -hmm. it will mean not just service cuts, but it will mean jobs. Jobs will have to be cut. 
that as well. And it's going to vary depending on what the actual plan is. Because our reserve only does two, one two week <coughs> payroll at this time, is that right? No. We're, we're forward funded to the amount of 87% of our current operating budget, which our operating budget, <coughs> I'm going to off the cuff here, and $518 million. So 87% of that is in the bank. So we've got that money. So we're going to be able to operate and make payroll for several months. Okay. And, um, and you know, and, and that, that will enable us to have a little bit of time to make those decisions. Now, <coughs> the, the sequestration report that you have in front of you, yes, it does mention jobs because we, we applied that just straight across the board. We took every line item. And so, you know, obviously, if, if this comes down, we will, you know, have to make some important decisions on, you know, where we want to prioritize, and, and, and I'm certain that the chief will prioritize to preserve jobs to the greatest extent possible. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council. Any further questions for the treasurer? Lacey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't believe there are any, any anyone here from Cherokee Nation businesses, career services, commerce, historical society. Cherokee Nation Foundation. I don't think they all gave up. <laughs> Lost it. And Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, at next month's meeting, can we have an agenda item just on these recent land deals and, and what's been done and what hasn't been done and, and what's involved? Because I'll, uh, I'll notify Chairperson Fishing Hawk of your agenda request of a discussion Thank item. Thank you, Councilor. And I, uh, I'm remiss, I didn't uh, entertain it. Madam Speaker, we were going to amend the agenda for Councilor Garvin, but uh, maybe he got his request taken care of. I believe Consent item, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Uh, which we're at consent items in any case. Uh, moving on to consent items, do we have anything under tariff, uh, tariff certifications? I'll make a motion to be approved. Motion to approve the tariff certifications. Second. second. So Councilor Snell, all those in favor say aye. 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 I'll oppose same sign. Good. Cemetery restoration assistance applications. I those are, are those in our book. Yeah, no, they're on the handout. Yeah, you have a new on the cemetery. You have a new handout that has three additions since the birth. Any additions to the handout? No. Yes. Oh, it's fine. I just want to make, you never know. You never know. You just hope. You're just hoping. You're just hoping. That. All right. Uh, seeing no additions, I uh, entertain a motion to approve the cemetery applications. Councilor Hargis, Councilor Baker, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those same sign. Uh, community assistance. I believe we have a revised form. Now. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Reese? Uh, you do have a revised form mm -hmm. since the uh, book, but there's. I've had several additions yeah, since this handout. So. Further, further revisions. Uh, Councillor um, Hargis, you have uh, some additions. Yeah, Jody asked, Jody Fishenhawk asked that I uh, make a motion to put uh, from her fund for $2,000 to Stillwell High School Indian Heritage Club and $2,000 to Kansas High School Indian Heritage Clubs. Okay. Madam Speaker? Yes. Uh, the uh, Three representatives from District One would like to split six thousand dollars. That'd be two thousand dollars apiece, going to the Cherokee County Junior Livestock Show. Is that correct? Is that addition? Any, any further additions? <laughs> further additions. You will be one. Are you one? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Anglin had uh, four additions. Uh, 500 each for Skytook FFA, Sperry FFA, Owasso FFA, and Collinsville FFA. And the <coughs> okay. And Mr. Reese, you previously got the allocation from Councilors Lay, myself, and Councilor Fraley for the uh, Spring Creek Cherokee organization. Yes, that'll be uh, instead, of, <laughs> instead of 1900. Right, uh, we've got the allocation. Right. Very good. Right. Thank you. All right. Any, anything further? Very good. Uh, we have a motion to approve as amended. We don't. We need a motion to approve. Councilor Hardis, to have a second. Thank you. Councilor Burr, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Uh, we now move to law enforcement requests. Uh, any additions to what has been handed out? And that was in the, the packet that was handed out, correct? Right. Any additions? Councilors? I have one addition. 
$26,500 to the Veneta Police Department for video equipment. Thank you, Jody. Anything further? Any nothing further entertain much to approve law enforcement? I summon the motion by Councilor Burke. Councilor Hargis, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. We move to roads. Who any roads this month? Jody? Roads. Yes. There's a, what you have your report in there, but there's no, uh, there's been no additions that I know of since this report. So, no, no additions. And I will just note, uh, you might have seen it in the memo, but the budget uh, is in for this time for your allocations, and that's going to be $105,708 each once uh, the budget gets approved. So. Very, very good. All right, entertain a motion to approve the roads. So moved. Mr. Hardis, same with Keener. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Uh, Councilor Thornton, do you have a question with the Yes, I need, if it's not on roads, I need to add. I, I see one of you, it looks like one of yours is on roads, Councilor. Uh, parking, parking, parking project in Gould. 47. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. That's all I need. All right, very good. Um, Madam Speaker, do you have a motion? I think we are, we're adding a, uh, a road, is that right? Or is it already on here? <coughs> yes, we yeah, want yeah. to be sure that 40,000 split three ways is going to Wagner County for their road <coughs> project, is that right? Yeah. Is this a road, so this is a road project that needs to go on this report, I or does it need it does, to be submitted? They've sent us a couple emails about it. <laughs> yeah. okay. do, do we know the it's going to come from the access funds? The access funds? Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you agree with that. Do you want to make sure that uh, we actually agreed to it last year? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Madam Speaker, do you want to give the details if he didn't already have to Mr. Reese? Yeah, I'll and without objection, we'll add this to the road. Yeah, David has the email on it, the name of the road, what is it called? Is this one here? It's in that email, yeah. I think it's on the subject page. Is it the one in the, it's an access road over by OK. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's Sports Center Road, North 49th Street, uh, East. And we actually did agree in a meeting with Michael to, get, to split the oh. <laughs> coming out of the access. Money. Yeah, the, uh, what was that amount, Madam Speaker? Forty thousand. So, so with the district one counts. All three of you split it. Yes. Okay. Grand total of okay. Well, we're not giving them that. Okay. Well, we'll we'll give them 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 them. Them. Hey. Okay. I'll all get with. I'll get with members. Michael. Uh, and make sure we get this revised and the correct name. Out of access. Okay. But Madam Speaker, you want this uh, this report amended and passed yes. with that road. Okay, so without objection, uh, let's get a motion to add that, Madam Speaker, second by Councilor Walking Stick. All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. All opposed, same sign. Uh -huh. Okay, Madam Speaker, do you have a do you have a motion? We have we have one problem. David doesn't have enough, so me and me and uh, Joe are going to have to kick in a little bit more. So there'll have to be a slide. Thank you. His balance and then split between yes. you two. Is that okay with you? Right <laughs> yeah. the, the minutes will the minutes will so reflect. Madam, Madam Speaker, do you have a motion with respect to old business item number one? Let me go back here. Hold on just a second. I, I do, but I'd like to. Uh, yes, we were going to move the. Uh, I was going to make a motion to move the master plan to the next health meeting. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. Second by Councilor Baker. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, the same sign. Very good. I hope it's not going to one is now the next health committee meeting. And we move on to new business item number one um, Councilor Lay. 
Okay. Okay. Motion to table that for next time. Okay. Motion to table for a month. Uh, we have a second. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Uh, Madam Speaker, do you have a motion on new business item number two? Um, or is carrying Council the motion, Lake? Yeah, carrying the motion by way of Ms. Fisher Hall to table it for one month. Is that, I don't want to step on Mr. Lowe's. Is that okay? That, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Very good. All right. Uh, <coughs> new business item number three. Uh, Madam Speaker, would you take that? Yes, this is the uh, Act amending Legislative Act 3712, authorizing the comprehensive operating budget for fiscal year 2013 uh, to have a modification. It would be mod number five. And I would uh, defer to Mr. Reese to explain that modification. But you've got my memo in there. Uh, the, uh, <coughs> Total grants uh, $56,067. That's reporting. And uh, you want me to go through the details on each line item for each budget? You can go through the letter. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, first uh, budget is cash match for uh, grants. It's a uh, requesting the increase in reserve by appropriation. Uh, $4,537 by reducing the transfer out. It's related to the child support enforcement uh, <coughs> to decrease funding. So, is it decrease funding on the federal side, or is this because we have, a, we have less funding we're collecting in terms of child support? It's just account. It's a, I was concerned about our child support yeah. enforcement plan. Or the grant came in at a lower right. amount than had previously been expected, which when the, when the grant came in at a lower amount, that would lower our match requirements. Right. Will we, okay, let me ask this a different I, I, I love that program. So are we going to see an impact to the program because of this change? Yeah. That's what I need. All right, thank you. Yeah, but uh, that if we, item number 12, which is $18,000 more decrease. So. I just was worried yeah. about the impact on the right. program. Okay. Thank you. Uh, item number two is uh, a Cherokee Day Training Program. It's requesting increase in expenditure authorization of 725000 and it's offset with a reimbursement from CNB for placements at the casinos and other locations. So, uh, so, so do we have a, a report just on those <coughs> folks? That's a considerable amount of money, which is because that's a transition program that we, I think we all support. Do we know any results in particular around just this aspect of the program? In terms of placement rate? That's a dying um, question, but I can explain to you what this is. Uh, CNB in their annual budget passage, the board, the board passed the budget for day training purposes, they passed the budget for a million twenty-five thousand dollars Okay. And I believe in that <coughs> science preliminary budget, she had included um, $300,000. And so this is bringing forward the remaining $725,000 that was authorized. Okay. So we found that out after that. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Council. Item number three, land de development, uh, land operations. Requesting an expenditure authorization of 99605 for funds received from sale of surplus equipment and scrap metal. The increase is for a capital acquisitions account with the majority of that uh, being used for hay. Uh, I know Bruce had previously talked about this in another meeting that they'd had surplus sales and was used, going to use it to purchase hay equipment. Number four is a Horton Scholarship for Women. Uh, it's a new budget requesting expenditure authorizations of $121,499 that was received from the estate of Catherine Barbara Horton. Uh, we're going to set up a special committee uh, to establish uh, and review the applications. They'll be separate from the regular scholarships. And it was uh, specific in their uh, request that it be for uh, women. So. Number five, uh, Motor vehicle tax, uh, public schools. 
to mod modification requesting a decrease in expenditure authorization of 350,000. 334,000 of that is a decrease to reallocate uh, for a new budget uh, related to Legislative Act 7-10 to assist public schools with AF grading system for core subjects. The remaining 16,222 decrease is related to overall increased allocation to our Cherokee Nation schools based on revised headcounts. Number six, motor vehicle tax, Sequoia High School uh, is requesting an increase in expenditure authorization of 19588 for a new total of 106250 and that's based on revised headcounts. Number seven, motor vehicle tax, Head Start uh, modification requesting a decrease in expenditure authorization of 2572 based on revised headcounts. Number eight, motor vehicle tax immersion, requesting a decrease in expenditure authorization of 794 uh, based on revised headcounts. Number nine, motor vehicle tax public school co-op. Uh, this is the new budget that I just mentioned. It's requesting expenditure authorization of 334,744 related to Legislative Act 07-10 to assist public schools with the ADF grading system. Number 10, motor vehicle tax, highway administration, modification requesting a 150,582 increased expenditure authorization to account <coughs> for fiscal year 2012 allocation from motor vehicle tax and reconciliation carryover for a revised total of 376,769. This is the 10% uh, allocation and the 90% uh, allocation for construction will be over in the capital <coughs> budget model. Number 11, registration IDC. Modification requesting an increase in expenditure authorization of 411,134 for additional staffing and related expenditures. Uh, there's a detailed sheet attached along with the budget that talked about their, the new cards and additional uh, needs in that area. Uh, number 12, uh, child support enforcement, uh, modification requesting a decrease in the expenditure authorization of 22,686 made in accordance with a decrease in funding of 18,149 and a de decrease in the ca cash match of 4,537 which is related to item number one. Uh, number 13, self-help ownership construction, modification requesting an increase in expenditure authorization of 154749 from fiscal year 2012 carryover reconciliation. And uh, I, I see no problems with, technical problems with these budgets. We did miss one section. On the uh, merging school? Yes. I know that's a... Um, is that the charter? They've got it, yeah, it, it's broken out between the... Well, let me ask you this, the, uh, the formula for the kids per head is the same as the public schools? Yes. It is? Yeah. yeah. So, thank you, Mr. Keener. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Joe, can you tell me where the four letter is coming from on number 11? It, it's indirect cost. Uh, it's IDC. Mm -hmm. right, it's IDC, okay. indirect cost. And I see the, the details on page 37, and there's no one here to ask. Right. So uh, I guess I'll vote no until I get my question next. Okay. And then on the uh, <coughs> on page 27, um, and, and again, you, I'm sure you can answer this, but we're moving to contracts. Uh, circuit riders instead of uh, full-time jobs. So but I'll, I'll have to ask those right. questions. Okay. And, uh, leave it at that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Councilor. Any further questions for Ms. Reese? We have a motion to take the meeting of the Do we have a motion to approve? Councilor Hargis. Um, this is an act by acclamation. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Well, same sign. Aye. Good. Mr. Keener. Okay. Uh, 
Um, this is item number four. Madam Speaker, would you take that? Uh, number four is an act amending Legislative Act 3812, authorizing a comprehensive capital budget for fiscal year 2013 to be modified by modification number three. And I will defer to go to this point. Okay, and uh, on memo section A, there was uh, one grant that had a carryover reconciliation uh, <coughs> expenditure authorization there for 27838. Uh, the, there's a, as far as the actual uh, act itself, there's a motor vehicle tax, highway construction. This is the 90% allocation from the motor vehicle tax from the uh, fiscal year 2000 allocation. Uh, for a uh, increasing the expenditure authorization of one million three hundred eleven thousand eight hundred eight, for a revised total of three million <coughs> three hundred ninety-five eight thirty-four. And uh, I see no technical problems with. Any questions for Any questions for Mr. Reese, or Mr. Lake? I don't have a question. I have a comment. Uh, we we're passing this budget here and. See the treasurer and see our county, but I don't see the department heads and one of the councilors had some questions. I've got one, but nobody's here to answer. I know the meeting's late, but the department heads are on salary. I believe uh, Chairman Fish and Hawk to lose the uh, department heads so that they can go home. Okay. I just want to make sure the lesson they will be available next time. In full council? Uh, well, full council for this one, but at the next <coughs> committee meeting. Yes. If their, we did if have their money is in the budget, it would be a good idea to have them here and have them here in force so they can answer the questions for the council. We did have all of the department heads that had a budget modification here today. And I think to their credit, they were all sitting back there. <laughs> well, I, I understand that. If they want this money, they need to be. That's my opinion. Mr. Chairman, if I have Mr. Chairman, uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, if there are particular questions uh, that, uh, that any counselor would like to email to the department head, we will make sure that those answers are, are given uh, prior to uh, full counsel. And, and rest assured, when I'm asking for money, I will. Very good. Peter. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank, thank you, Attorney General. But uh, I, I think that uh, they should be here so that we can be public and not just for one counselor. And I may not convey what I've learned to another counselor and, or have time. So that's, I think that's what we're getting at. And, and, and mindful, this is a special uh, instance. We had a, a rules committee meeting that started at 3 and ended at 4. Um, and started one, one, excuse me, started at one and, and, and ended at 4.30. And, and, and it has always been the habit and the practice of the, the executive director to be here. There wasn't an announcement saying, hey, you know, go ahead and go home, you know, uh, and, and, and I, I can appreciate that. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the email questions will be answered and these people will be at the <coughs> council um, to, to address any uh, questions or concerns that you have. And um, uh, again, it's, uh, this is just part of the process for the final approval to be at full council, and we will ensure that everyone is is there at the, on this instance. Councilor Lane. And I thank you, Mr. Chair. And I appreciate that. And I understand that they were released. Here's the problem I've got with that: full council meeting is a very formal situation, or should be. Usually, is always. And. This is the time to vet this stuff out and ask the questions, and this is the time to debate, discuss, whatever. And if these department heads can't stay here and talk to us about this, uh, I've got kind of a low opinion when they just walk out the door. I don't care if somebody has released them or not. I didn't release it. I had questions, another counselor had questions. And we're supposed to be taking care of the money here. And I'm not, I see an expenditure here that's already been expended before we voted on it in this committee, at least once. 
And so I don't appreciate that. Thank you. Councilor Lay, Madam Speaker, has a, a suggestion. Uh, <clears throat> why not just recess budget so that those folks can be present, say, the day of the council meeting um, at 5 o'clock to get our questions answered before we pass, uh, pass our decline to pass number four? And that will get everybody's questions answered before then. And we had we had questions on the other. That's already been passed. By well, we, well, possibly we vote. could we could get those questions. We could revisit that. Yeah. that we could at least have it yeah. out in the committee setting mm -hmm. rather than full council on both of those items. I, I would make that motion to recess the Second. meeting until five o'clock on the day of the council meeting. And then we'll take up further discussion on item four, and they may want to revisit some other items. Uh, yes. We're recessing, well, we're recessing the whole meeting. If, the, whole the, meeting if the body votes to, yeah. there's been a motion and a second. <coughs> Mr. Chair, just for clarification, item number four is all that we're going to re revisit. Let me make sure I have that number right. Number the, three, yeah. I think we're going to entertain questions on both the budget items. But we haven't taken action on the second budget budget item, so we're going to do actions. But just so we can have a discussion, I, I think we would all agree we could have some discussion on the even one we already passed. We can go in the committee setting. Yes, if that's. I mean, I, I'm in total agreement with Mr. Lay that the committee setting is the more appropriate place to ask some of these hard questions. So we will, we have a, a motion, secretary, Mr. Attorney General. No. Uh, we are recessing, the, if, the, if the body so choose, you're recessing so it's the same meeting and anything can be moved to re, be reconsidered by, a, um, by Mr. Keener since he did, you know, sure. he would be the appropriate party. Uh, or no, excuse me, any, any person that vote, voted it in the majority. So you can reconsider, you know, the, the, uh, the anything during the, this current meeting when you reconvene at 5 o'clock on February 11th. Very good. So, you may ask me. And I would ask Todd that you know file the department. We will have you, everyone if here. If you would do that for us. Oh, certainly. Very good. We, well, let's say, uh, we'll, all in favor of recess. Well, so I need a vote on the recess. Yeah, so all in favor of recess say aye. Aye. Uh, both same side. All right. We're recess. <laughs>